in this session we are going to see about view products this is the admin dashboard page and this we have already created in our previous session okay if you have not done this one okay then you have to watch the previous videos like from very start you have to watch only then you will understand this one if you have missed this one and if you can do by yourself then you can continue from here if you cannot do or if you are getting confused with this how we have designed this one then you can go to the starting videos and you can watch that one and later on you can come here and you can start from here okay now we have already seen about this insert products whenever admin clicks on this admin can insert the products admin can insert the categories and admin can insert the brands okay we are having insert categories and insert brands these three things we have seen inside admin now what we are going to see let me just log in here seema password 1234 login now inside this we are going to work on this view products when admin clicks on this view products all the products whatever i am having inside this project that all the products will be displayed and total sold how many products are sold the status i'll be explaining you editing the products and deleting the products okay this entire thing we are going to see now i'll just come to admin dashboard page i'll just click on view products now if i click on view products you can see still my insert brand is active and so i am having this one let me just remove this i'll enter now you can see i don't have anything whenever this get variable is active based on that i will be getting the result okay this get variables and everything we have understood when we created user dashboard page in the same way we are going to work with admin dashboard page and i'll just come here now inside this admin area folder we are having this index.php okay this is not the root index.php this is the admin index.php now inside this we are going to work and before that let me just show you you can see we have already written this entire code okay if you are getting confused you as i told you you can go to previous videos and you can watch that one okay now inside this you can see here i am having view products and inside this href i have not given anything now what i am going to do i'll just write here index.php i'm just going to active the get variable that is view products okay whatever name you want you can give i'm just going to give here view products i'll save this now i'll come here now without refreshing if i just click on view products i am not having anything here now i'll just refresh this one now when i click on view products you can see this product is okay this particular get variable is active now using this get variable we are going to display this particular result okay this entire result we are going to display now i'll come here before that inside index.php first i'm just going to include connect.php and functions.php i'll just come to users folder users area and from here inside profile.php i have already included this one i'm just going to copy this okay in the same way what we have done and here i'm just going to paste i'll just paste here and here i'll be closing this one okay i have just included includes connect.php i have written here double dot because first i have to come outside of this admin folder then i have to come inside this includes folder inside this i'm having connect.php and inside this i'm having functions folder okay, common functions.php okay this is how we are going to include inside this includes folder i'm having this connect.php and footer.php for footer also i'm just going to do the same thing i'll just remove this from here and in place of this i'm just going to include footer i'll just come to index.php let me just come to users area profile.php and from here i'm just going to include footer i'll just copy this line and inside this i'm just going to paste that one i'll save this i'll just refresh this one here i'm having this result okay based okay whatever we need based on our condition we can just remove the footer because here i have given the styling so it is taking complete 100% of the width you can see here i am having this one as of now what i am going to do for footer i am just going to give the same thing okay because i have given the stylings here later on we are just going to work on this and we are going to give complete 100% of the footer and now this scroll bar i am just going to remove from here okay i am just doing fixes here if you want you can just skip this particular section and you can go to next session where we have started view products okay in the same video i am going to start here i'll just write overflow overflow x to be hidden i'll just change the spelling overflow x to be hidden i'll refresh this now that scroll bar has gone 
Okay, now let me just come to view products. Now I am just going to style this one. For that inside this admin area, I am just going to create one file. I will just write here view products. View products dot PHP. And inside this first I am just going to write the basic boilerplate of HTML. And inside this H1, let me just write here view products. I will save this. I will just refresh this one. Even if I refresh, you can see this view products variable is active, but still I am not getting the result because I have not included this file inside this index.php. Now I will just come below. I am just going to copy these two lines and below this I am just going to paste. Whenever my view products is active, let me just come here. I will just copy this. Whenever this is active, only then I have to include that file. I will just remove this. Here I am just going to write view products. I will save this. Now if I refresh this one, you can see here I am having the result that is view products. I will come here. Now first we are just going to design the basic table. You can see we are having the table and we are having one heading. So I am just going to design that one. Here let me just write here all products. And for this, I am just going to give the class. Class, I will just write here text center. Text center and also I am just going to give text success. I will save this. Now, I will refresh this one. Okay, let me just come to my project. I will refresh this. You can see the stylings has been applied. But here I have not included the bootstrap file because inside index.php, we have already linked this bootstrap link. You can see we have already linked this one. And here we are including this particular file. So once we include this file, all the content whatever we are having here, that will come inside this one. So we don't have to include bootstrap link and also we don't have to write this entire thing. Okay, if we don't write, then also we are going to get the result. If I just remove this one, I'll save this. I'll just refresh this one. You can see again, I'm having the same result. Okay, so you don't have to worry about that. I'm just going to write here H1. Uh, let me just remove this H1. I'll just write here H3. H3, H3. I'll save this. I'll refresh this one. Now here I'm having all products. Now below this H3, I'm just going to create one table. I'll just come here. I'll be creating one table. And for this table, first I'm just going to give some classes. I'll just write here class. Class, I'm just going to give this bootstrap class table. I want some borders. So I'll be writing here table bordered. And also I need some margin, margin top of 5. Now inside this table, first I'm just going to create table head. Okay, table head for all the headings we are going to create. And for this table head, I'm just going to give the color as BG info, which will be giving in light blue color. Inside this table head, I'm just going to create one row. And inside this row, I just need all the headings. Okay, whatever headings I'm having for this table, like product ID, product title, everything I need. So I'm just going to create table headings. Okay, these are the headings. So I'm just going to create table headings. I'll just copy the same thing. No need. I'm not going to copy. Then next I'm having 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Okay, totally 7 I need. So TH into 7. Okay, totally 7 columns I'm having now. I'll just copy this one. Product title. Here I'm just going to paste. Then next I'm just going to copy this product image. And here I'm just going to paste. Okay, whatever you just want to display, you can just do that one. Okay, if you just want to display product title and product price, that also you can do. You just have to give two headings, product price, then total sold, total sold, then here I am having status, I will copy this one, I will just paste that one here and then I am having edit and finally I am having delete. I will save this, I will come to my project. Now if I refresh this one, you can see here I am having this table heading, okay, this entire thing is there. Now what I am going to do, okay, here you can see here I am not getting borders. Let me just check here, table bordered. I will just remove this one hyphen. I will save this. I will just refresh this one. Now you can see here I am having this table border and also margin is been applied. Now we have done with this table headings. Now below this I am just going to create table body. Below this table heading, I am just going to create a table body. And for this table body, I'm just going to give the class. I'll just write here BG secondary. Okay, it is going to give me in gray color. BG secondary. I'll save this. Okay, now I will not be having any result because I have not added any content. And also inside this, I'm just going to give a text light. Okay, when my, uh, let me just remove this one. And here I'll just close. 
because my body will be in grey color so I am just going to give the text in light color. Now inside this table body first I am just going to create one table row and inside this table row now these are the headings now for these headings I need some data. So for that I will just write here table data into 8 ok totally 8 I need because totally 8 columns I am having here 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So first let me just write here 1 uh, product title let me just write here mango ok later on we are going to give the dynamic data product image I am not going to give anything product price let me just write this one ok let me just write here image then sold I will write one status I will just write here through then uh, edit I am just going to write here edit then delete I am just going to write here delete I will just save this one later on we are just going to add the icons here now I will come I will refresh this now you can see all the content ok this is how the content will be visible you can see this is how the content will be visible. Now for this what I am going to do instead of this static data I just need the dynamic data total sold as of now I am just going to give 0 status will be true and in place of edit I just need one icon I will just remove this and whenever I click on this edit you can see let me just come here whenever I click on this below I am having edit product is equal to 3. So what I am going to do, I am just going to write here anchor tag, inside this href later on I am just going to give, for this I will just add the class, class I will just write here text light and inside this anchor tag I am just going to add the icon, ok icons we have already included here inside index.php, we have already included this font awesome link, you can go to this particular website and you can get the icons link, as of now I am just going to write the name, I will just write here i class I am just going to give here FA, FA solid, FA solid, FA pen, I am just going to give this class, I will just save this one, I will just save and let me just close this I here, now I am going to save, I will refresh this, now you can see here I am having this icon, Okay, this edit icon, Okay, this is the class name you have to write fa hyphen solid then space fa hyphen pen to square, Okay, this is the class to get the icon, then for delete also I am just going to do the same thing, I will just copy this entire thing from here, I will just paste here, I am just going to change the class, fa solid and instead of this one I am just going to write fa trash, I will save, I will refresh this, now you can see here I am having this dustbin. Now this entire content is in the middle, so for this table row I am just going to give the class, class I will just write here text center, I will save this, now I will just refresh this one, now all the content has come in the middle, now in place of this I just need the dynamic data, whatever I am having inside my database that entire thing should be displayed here. Okay, now in place of this I need dynamic data, whatever data I am having inside the database that entire thing should be displayed. So from next session we are going to write PHP code, we are going to see how to edit, how to delete, how to write the code for that everything we are going to see one by one.